Well, the Watermark Arts Center in Bemidji held its first event of the year tonight. Reporter Sherelle Moore tells us about the cultural significance of their poetry reading in this week's In Focus. It was an evening filled with celebration and emotional spoken word at the Watermark Art Gallery. Both traditional and contemporary work, which are all, um, I think, important and significant for people to understand that our um, indigenous artists are working in a, a multitude of genres and disciplines, and they have a lot of different ways to express what they know through their art and what they understand the world to be. It started with an artist reception, where folks from all over were invited to gaze at some of the creations in the Mikanon Gallery, created by Native American artists. Then, the poetry reading, which are works also written by all Native American artists. Some came as far as St. Paul just to read their work. So, in this place that we call home, La Jota Macha Sto. Many say this Ajuman exhibit is definitely something special. Having my work displayed here is just amazing. It's, it's, I just I can't even explain how excited I am to be here and to bring my family here and my friends here and to show them that it's possible for them to do too. It really is a dream come true. Um, in order for, uh, for us to go someplace and see native work, um, you would have to travel to Washington, D.C. This poetry reading was only one of the first events for the Watermark Arts Center for 2018, but their calendar is already full and there's ways that you can keep up with them. We have a number of artists already selected for future exhibits and we believe we'll continue to provide um, some interesting um, work and um, we will also have events in conjunction with, I mean that's one of the goals with the Mekinon Gallery is to have events that are in conjunction with the exhibits. Though my mind was oh so very tired, they greeted me with love, the pain they had. Reporting of Bemidji with this week's In Focus, Shaw Moore, Lakeland News. And that will be on display until the end of this month. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.